Either one, either the Pfizer or the Moderna do that. Hello, hurt people. Okay, so I am on my way to get the second dose of the, the monetization. I can't say it. I'm going to get the second dose. I have my passport. I need to get my keys, all that. I'm kind of nervous because the first one didn't go very well. I was sore for like three days. It literally felt like I got punched by like Muhammad Ali or something. So I'm not looking forward to going through that again, but again, for the betterment of the people, for me to travel this summer and have a hot girl summer, I have to, so. <sighs> my appointment is at 11. I don't have my watch on, whatever. It's like, it's 1031 right now. I'm gonna go pay my bills. Then I'm gonna go get the vaccine. Let's go. God, I hate paying bills. You know, if I could have a sugar daddy without giving the sugar, that would be ideal. Okay. Like I said before, y'all will notice about me, I am always on time, I'm always early. I think it's because my mom growing up was never on time, never early, never showed up to any of my games, never, she was just always late to everything. So no, I think that's instilled in me on time, early, scheduled, like punctuality. And I think it's actually one of the best things that have come out of my childhood trauma. How do we get to this part? Let's go get the vaccine. <laughs> Quick little outfit of the day. Yes, my room is kind of dirty. What's new? Anyways, you got these mom jeans from Old Navy. Oh, my zipper is down. Comme des Garçons Converse. Thrifted vintage Nike t-shirt and my Prada bag. That outfit looks way better on than it does in the mirror. I look like chunky and dusty. Time to pay some bills. Make sure y'all go watch my reaction so I can make this money back. Texas, y'all. You got the big body truck. Alrighty. The way they do it over here is whenever you arrive, you have to like check in. So I gotta go ahead and do that and then we can head inside. Okay, got my keys, got my purse. Remember, they make you bring like this little identification card thing. So I need to go ahead and get that out just before I even get inside there. Kept it in my passport. Let's head inside. Oh, I need a mask. Dirty, dirty mask, dirty mask. I have to just reuse this one. Ugh. You know, my skin never broke out around my cheeks and under my chin, but since we've had to start wearing these masks, acne is a problem. Hello, good morning. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Emmanuel? Yes. Do you need to see your ID? Uh, yes. Uh, did you check in on your phone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Step right there. Okay. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Good. I'm going to show my mom. Do you care? Okay, no okay. problem. Yeah, left or right arm? Uh, left. Okay. Do you need this? Yeah, I'll see. Yeah. And you're fine. <laughs> Keep on in the sticker. Thank you. How are you feeling today? Good. Good. Oh, really? Big needle. Oh, no, it's not. It's small. <sighs> How'd you do it the first dose? I looked away. <laughs> Did you get any uh, aches, pains, fever, yeah, chill, headache? Yeah, I someone punched me. Yeah, my, that was me too. I got a real sore. <laughs> Most people don't get it real sore, but... Uh. Yeah, I did too, so I know exactly. You can ice it, take, if you're okay, take okay. it time, all right, gotcha. you can do that. Hot shower running on, it felt the best to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I woke up, the, the first one, I, I woke up in the middle of the night, I rolled on it, and it woke <laughs> me up. It's like, I don't know. <laughs> Look, good, luckily, it only lasted a couple days, yeah. so. I was like one day. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty common. Mm -hmm. I tell people about two days, give or take a day, so. Mm -hmm. Most people doesn't last more than three. Gotcha. Is that with all of them, or just the P, Pfizer, or whatever? Uh, either one, either the Pfizer or the Moderna do that. Gotcha. Like 80 to 90% of the people get it. Gotcha. Um, so you may get any uh, some kind of immune response, you know, aches, pains, fever, oh, yeah. chill, headache, tiredness. Mm -hmm. Usually within 48 hours, mm -hmm. um, usually only last six to 12. Mm -hmm. You can take time all right, your profile for that. Gotcha. As needed. Relax that on, yeah, there you go. That's, that's okay. I'm done. Okay. 
Not as bad as the first, or better? <laughs> no, I that was way faster too. Yeah, I tried to, I tried to do it. Uh, Doof. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, that's right, it. Hang out in the store for about 15 minutes to make sure you don't have allergic reaction. You feel good after 15, you're good to go. If you don't right. feel good, let me know. All right, thank you. You're welcome, thank you. I got some goodies. Okay, let's go back to the car now though. <sighs> this one kind of stings a little bit. The other one started to like hurt after a few hours, but this one's like immediate. Anyways, this is a perfect opportunity to tell y'all how I completely fumbled the bag. And by the bag, I mean a hot pair of balls. And by hot balls, I mean a hot guy. <sighs> so story time. You guys know, or I don't know if I've talked about it on the channel, but my first year of college, my freshman year, I went to school out of state. I met a bunch of different people from like different walks of life, different cultures. It was a great experience. And there was this one guy that I always like, the guys very rarely give me like butterflies, but this one, he was buff, he was tall, he was respectful, he was like, he had Christian values, and I don't mean like the Bible thumping conservative type, like he was genuinely just a nice person. And he was handsome, he was like the entire package, he was smart, he was going into healthcare as well. Everything that I want in a guy, did I say he was buff? His pecs were just juicy. We had the same birth, oh, am I giving too many details? I don't think he watched my videos. Anyways, he was the complete package. Everything that I want in a guy or have ever wanted, he had it, he was it. So I was just like, not in love with him, but just, whoa, babe, I've never. Anyways, fast forward to now. A few years later, like we message every now and then, we say happy birthday to each other because again, we're born on the exact same day. So it's just been like a, not friendship, but like we still communicate. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw what I posted the other day. It was that zebra print pant with the yellow top and I was like my pronouns are she her but I could be all yours just like as a joke and I know it sounds cringy but it was just something fun and he he liked the photo he very rarely likes my photos or watches my stories which by the way he's been watching them very frequently now okay so he liked the photo and then he dm'd the photo to me and commented and said he said this caption is amazing and I said thanks homie now you guys know, I express myself a certain way in my videos, the way I talk, people are pulling up next to me. You guys know, even in my reactions, I like talk to you guys like you're my friends. I talk about, that's just the way I talk. I say dude, I say homie, I say bud. I'm afraid that I might've just ruined my chance to ever fall in love with my Prince Charming. Like what if I just unintentionally friend zoned him? Like I just say homie and dude and things like that, just like generic bud. But what if he's like, oh, like she doesn't like me like that. Like I just complimented her and she friends on me. I'm a big L, but no, you're the biggest W that I've ever seen. But also he has a girlfriend, so it's not like I can really make a move, but I called him homie. So now I think he hates me. I'm sad. Am I reading too much into it? Or do you think I ruined my chance? If there ever even was a chance. I've, oh gosh dang it. And we went on like a small, like, I don't know if it was a date, but it felt like a date. It was basically a date. We just never defined it. And that was like a few years back. And I was on my phone the entire time. That was like when I was beginning my like social media career. So I was like posting things, blah, blah, blah. When I always regret, I should have just paid complete attention to him and like the moment, but the one that got away. Where's Taylor Swift and I need her. Anyways, let me get out of here before this guy hits my car. What they got going on over here, boy? They blocked off the entire intersection. I need to go that way, but I can't go that way. Cause I gotta go this way, but then that way. Lights green, buddy. Bro. All right, I'm just now getting home. Well, it completely just destroyed all my plans. Like, they're not coming back, so we need to pull them up. Let me show y'all what they look like right now. Like, you see that? That's dead. That's not coming back. Our little tree survived the winter storm. This didn't. I don't know if I can show you how thick, but the root system down there is going to be insane to try to dig up. So I'm probably just gonna chop it and then put something in front of it, plant something in front of it. Same for this thing. Imagine the root work that we're gonna have to start pulling up from this. There's still some like greenery coming out, but I think those are just vines and leaves. They're not actually like leaves from the bush. And I still have to put my plants down for the side. The little tree that we just planted survived the winter storm, but my 20 year old bushes didn't. Okay. In addition to like landscaping and plant shopping now, I also have an addiction with clothes shopping. I have another big batch of Sheen clothes that just arrived. So let me show you all those real quick. 
and we'll decide what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna return if I return any. I also got some new boots. Let me show you all those real quick in the closet. I'm changing up my style. So I got some fake Prada boots. Yes, they're fake. These are like 200 bucks or something, but they look just like the real deal. And that's really all that matter. But you got the little sack thing that hangs on the side and then on the inside. These are fantabulous. My white shin boots. I'll put up a picture of what these look like on. But yeah, when I said I'm changing up my style, I meant it. So just a little bit of what I've been doing, some shopping, changing up my style. I want to get more sophisticated than just wearing sweats every day in Jordan 1s. Yeah, I want to be like business casual from time to time. Anyways, let's get right into the Sheen haul. Oh. 